Climate change is an urgent problem, and the federal government is proposing new regulations on car tailpipe emissions to try and help make a difference. On Wednesday, the Environmental Protection Agency proposed standards that could require electric vehicles to account for two-thirds of new car sales in the U.S. by 2032. Uh, well, electric cars are here for sure, and the federal government is attempting to accelerate that transition. UC San Diego professor and environmental economist Mark Jacobson says the limits are the strictest ever proposed at the federal level. But California already has some regulations in place that all new cars, pickup trucks and SUV sales in the state have to be electric or hydrogen by 2035. Jacobson says the trick with the new federal proposal is going to be making enough affordable EV cars, adding a lot more charging stations, and most importantly, getting people to buy in. You know, we're going to transition to electric vehicles almost certainly uh, around the world at some point, uh, potentially very soon, uh, maybe not for another 10, 15 years. It's not clear, right? And so the federal government is trying to speed up that transition, uh, particularly in, in states that are not California or not the, the states following California's lead. Transportation accounts for nearly 30 percent of all greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S., according to the EPA. Jacobson says the effects from this proposal could greatly reduce the effects of climate change, especially if the country's electric grid is also decarbonized. It'll also improve the health of communities across the country and in San Diego. The implications are, are profound for the environment, for sure, for local air quality. Um, electric cars are, are fantastic at uh, removing pollution from cities. The EPA will accept public comments on its proposal for 60 days, then issue its final regulation. The federal plan would represent the strongest push yet towards a shift from gas and diesel powered cars to battery powered vehicles. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.